Are you considering a business coach, but not quite sure which one to choose? Let me run through the various things to consider and questions to ask when finding the best one for you. If you haven't yet, click the bell and subscribe to be notified every time we produce our best pieces of content. Business coaches, choosing the right one. Now, me personally, I've invested in various different coaches over the years, and they have taken what I've got and got me there quicker. But choosing the right one can be difficult. How do you choose the one that is best for you? The most important question is, do they know my personal and business goals? And let's be honest, you may not know them, but they should be in a position where they can help you really get under the bonnet so they can understand what is truly important to you. I think that's a fundamental part of a business coach. Now, a business coach is they're training you and giving you whatever you need to get you to your goal. They should know clearly what your business and personal goals are, otherwise you are failing. Now, how do you spot a good business coach? Let's be honest, on LinkedIn, there's a lot, isn't there? There's loads of coaches that do this, 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 this. Now, one thing that really gets on my nerves with business coaches is some of them use boilerplate examples. So they'll have one thing, well, they'll attach it to anything, and they go, yeah, that's that boiler, it's, that, it's there, without really listening to the situation that's in front of them. This really gets on my nerves. When you're looking at a business coach, and this is something that's really personal to me too, is you want someone that's been successful. And I mean really successful, because they're gonna teach you things that you need to learn that will allow you to get to where you want to get to. There may be an odd business coach that may have one testimonial, but the rest of them, if you could find them, are rubbish. So have they been successful in the past, and are they successful in their own lives? Because if they're not, why are they coaching? Ask and don't be frightened. Now, when you've got a business coach, also, sometimes together, you may not know the outcome. So you know that you physically, you want to get there, and it's really important and passionate to you, but you're not quite sure how to do it. Now, that goes the same with a business coach. A business coach will not have all the answers straight away that will allow you to get there. It's something you work at together. So there's a really good book that I learnt loads from by a guy called Patrick Lencioni, and it's called Getting Naked. Now be careful, I don't mean literally, but getting naked means, do you have the vulnerability enough to say, I don't know how to get there yet, but together we are going to work there. So your business coach with you will work with you to say, right, we don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're gonna work at things systematically by taking action that allows you to get your goal. I think that's massive. Now, a business coach as well should not be for life. I believe a business coach has a limited life, not unless they're just provoking you about your results, which could be slightly different, which I would call maintenance. A business coach should be there for a specific issue, a specific problem, and ultimately the coach will work the, their way out of a job. If they're not, are they providing complete value to you? A business coach also should be provoking you. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's those things, yeah, you know, that you hide from, that you know that you should be doing, but you're not, and you could be a little bit embarrassed about them, and it could be lots of feelings, but them feelings are, ugh. That business coach, if they are doing their job properly, should provoke you. If it's all nice, fluffy, just a peaceful conversation, I don't think you'll get into the core of your issues, and really pushing yourself. It's all a little bit safe. So a business coach should be able to push you. Now a business coach, you should allow them on what level to take it up to. So i.e. when they deliver the information, is it gonna be really brutal, like smack in the face, or is it gonna be constructive and you build up to it? Allow your business coach the permission in the way that they deliver information so they get the best out of you. So, when you're looking at a business coach, look specifically at what goals are really important to you. And these could be business, personal, or both. And look at how you're going to get there and measure exactly what success is gonna be like. Every time that you have a coaching session with your coach, you should be taking action. And them actions should be follow up every single meeting. Because you are, if you are not taking action after you've discussed and agreed something, you are not moving forward. 
And if you're not moving forward, when you have a business coach, you are wasting your money. When you're looking for a business coach, test them, push them. Don't be nice because ultimately you are gonna be paying the money. And if you wanna talk further or if you've got any questions because this can be really daunting, click my Calendly link below. I'll jump on a discovery call with you. And yes, I promise there'll be no pushy sales pitch, but I'll be there to answer your questions. Good luck in finding your business coach and get the one that's best for you.